Jesus, Chava, Yosef, and Yehoshua Siegel. This is an unusual combination because most triplets, I want you to know, are two girls and one boy. So you are even more unusual than usual triplets. So we expect, we expect a great presentation from you because we, we are sure that you are following both the footsteps of your mother and your father. And we look forward to hearing your perspective, which I don't know what you're talking about. I told Nahum what the, what the Hagers were doing, but he didn't tell me what you were doing. He kept me in the dark. So I can't introduce your topic, but I'm sure that's going to be very eye-opening. And again, we wish you all much Nachis. And we thank you, especially Nahum, who has to get up very early in the morning tomorrow. If it snows, especially to be on the radio. So thank you again for coming. Okay, and uh, after this, you can just socialize and enjoy. Four expectant fathers are in the waiting room. The nurse comes in and says to the first one, Congratulations, your wife just had twins. He says, What a coincidence. I work for Double Tree Hotels. <laughs> she comes in and tells the second father, Congratulations, your wife just had triplets. He says, What a coincidence. I work for Triple A. <laughs> she comes in a third time and tells the third father, Congratulations, your wife just had quadruplets. He says, What a coincidence. I work for the Four Seasons. <laughs> All of a sudden, the fourth father runs for the door. The nurse shouts, Where are you going? He answers, I work for Century 21. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute. Is that your <laughs> it is a real pleasure for us to be here tonight and speak for the Bar Mitzvah celebration of Mothers and Multiples. We would like to thank Maimonides President Pam Breyer, Vice President Doug Jablon, and Ashay Cares Coordinator Mati Berkowitz for inviting us, the Secret, as we are known 12 years ago, to speak to you tonight. My name is Yoshua Siegel. I am the youngest of the Siegel triplets. Slav is the oldest, and Yosef is stuck somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Our parents tell us that things were pretty calm in the Siegel household until we came along 12 years ago. Many sleepless nights for my parents, diapers and days in a triple stroller later, and here we are to report to you on what it is to grow up as a multiple. There are some real benefits to being a triplet. You know that two other people in the house have to do the same homework. There is always someone your age around the house to play with, and birthday parties almost always have three different cakes. In addition, you have built in, so in social life with kids your age. A great feeling of camaraderie when the boys aren't killing each other. And you always have someone to count on. My brother Yosef does everything for me. That's a great feeling. <laughs> I like the part when, when we ask people we've met for the first time if they can figure out how Yosef and I were born on the same day, but yet we are not twins. <laughs> that is always a fun riddle. People feel pretty stupid once we reveal the answer. But the questions people ask us are sometimes really crazy. Do you ever, do you ever get yourselves mixed up? Are you the same age? Come on, of course we are the same age. Can your parents tell you apart? You know, we are not identical. And stuff like that. Why aren't you dressed alike? Is a good question, especially because I'm the only girl. Do you have the same parents? That's a good one. <laughs> I like when people ask if we ever switch places because your shoe and I love to switch places. We have driven many teachers crazy, especially on the first day of school. <laughs> One thing about being a triplet that drives me crazy is that you have very little time and space to yourself. Your siblings are not separated from you by years. They are separated by minutes. That is how it has felt since that first day, as you can imagine. We also are lucky to have a great sister, Yonina. 
who was born 19 months after us, who everyone thinks is the, is the triplet girl. So in a way, we are like quadruplets, with very little space and even less time to ourselves. It must be a tough challenge for our parents as they try to give us attention to all while we are while we are all lobbying for individual attention from them, our poor parents. <laughs> Another thing is that it seems that we are always sharing everything. Not just attention, but draws, rooms, space, games, and just about everything. Yosef and I even had a settle an argument about who would have Y and who would have Y Siegel on the back of our basketball uniforms. Those are not shareable. Our individuality is always challenged. After all, we are known as the triplets. Maybe people could use our names once in a while. I think you are getting the idea that there are good things and challenges to being a multiple. Team triplets is a team I am proud to be on, but sometimes it does get annoying. Like when Chava forgets she is our older sister by eight minutes and she thinks she is our mother. <laughs> like when the boys forget their brothers and they fight like their enemies. Like when people constantly tell us, I remember when you were born, born, it's already 12 years. <laughs> However, we have heard that as we get older, we will appreciate being at the same level and age and grade and leaping life's hurdles together, and that our bond of family and friendship will only get stronger. I can't wait for those days when we'll be more grown up together. I hope by then I won't be saying, oh, I wish I wasn't a triplet anymore. <laughs> I hope this little presentation has helped you all understand how things look from this side of the world of multiples. We consider ourselves seasoned and experienced experts on this topic. <laughs> Therefore, if you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear them. Mazda Tamati and, the, and Mothers of Multiples from our wonderful parents and the entire Seagull family. Does anyone want to ask them more questions? I just great. have one comment. Yeah, so yeah, they have training at home. They're, they're going to be placed. I have just time, one right? comment. Okay. What she said, he said about asking of the triplets. I have twins, a boy and a girl, and they used to come over to me and ask, are they identical? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, my twins are identical, and the Rebbeim, one son at PTA, never told his Rebbe that he has a twin brother, because oh, he, he just didn't want to be a twin. Yeah. So, and so the Rebbe said, great, because if he, they would have changed classes, he wouldn't have known. <laughs> you know, he just did not tell the Rebbe he has a twin brother. I said, right. by the way, he has a twin brother. Oh, really? He never told me. <laughs> and they never switched classes, never. Thanks again for the triplets, both sets, 